Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Finally, after years of waiting and thousands of requests online, I'm here reviewing the Timo Boll ALC Blade by Butterfly with none other than the legend himself, Timo Boll. In November, I traveled to the Borussia Dusseldorf Training Center in Germany, where Timo Boll trains himself and represents the club in the German Bundesliga. It's a fantastic facility, and we used the training hall to review this blade. Timo Boll has been using the Boll ALC for the last 10 years after changing from the previous Timo Boll Spirit Blade. So this blade is based off the popular Viscaria. So the Viscaria was out before the Bolt ALC. Now the only real difference between these two is actually the handle. So the grip on the Viscaria feels slightly thicker. The wingspan is slightly wider. The Timo Bolt ALC is a little bit more streamlined and thinner. So both these blades are very similar in composition. So the Timo Bolt ALC uses an outer layer Koto. The inner ply is the carbon, Aralite carbon. The next layer in is limber wood and then the core is curry. So the T-Mobile ALC blade I used weighed 88 grams and had a thickness of 5.8 millimeters. I used the new Lezoline Raffone magenta color shoes throughout the review. Very snazzy indeed, very grippy. And I used the G40 plastic ball throughout. We both had the Tenagio 5 rubbers on both sides of our blades. Enjoy the review. All right guys, so first up I started blocking to Timo Boll's backhand and wow, I could feel the ridiculous spin and accuracy he produced. Early on, I realized it was nothing I'd felt in the past in terms of spin and sheer quality on the ball. I was also amazed with how low he bent each time when he played his shot. This was definitely one of the reasons how he got so much spin on the ball. He was so low down to the table. Get a lot of spin. Not like before. <laughs> The Timo Boll ALC is one of Butterfly's flagship carbon blades and you can really instantly feel the large crisp sweet spot on contact which helps produce a very stable medium to high throw angle when playing top spins. It's quick. Oh, yeah. yeah, the blade is releasing yeah. the ball very quickly. Oh. Yes. <laughs> what makes you uh, use the ALC? Why did you choose this in the first place for your game? Uh, I changed quite early to the Viscaria. Yeah. I was the first one who tried it out. I think when I was 15 years old. And this was yeah, comparable to the ALC. Same material, only the, the weight was a little bit different, I think. Now the grip is a little bit lighter, yeah. so you have more weight in the head. Mm -hmm. And this helps to play a little bit more spinny and mm -hmm. powerful. Yes. <laughs> what I personally love about the Bowl ALC is that it's not too fast where you lose out on control, like say if you use the Super ZLC series for example. These blades are really fast but you don't have as much control. The Bowl has the right amount of speed where it's not too fast or too slow to give you optimum control and precision in your shots. In a sense, the Bolt ALC does a lot of the work for you, which gives you confidence in your strokes. Oh, nice. One of the key features that stood out for me with the Bolt ALC was the sheer amount of spin it gives you on both the forehand and backhand. This was due to the large sweet spot that offers incredible dwell time and feeling when you contact the ball. Although the dwell is fantastic, the blade is still relatively hard which allows for powerful shots, which work very well away from the table. Oh, 
Good, nice. Another great attribute about the Bolt ALC is that it's easy to control at high speeds. Because the Bolt ALC is very responsive, like most carbon blades, you need to have good timing in order to make use of its full effects. However, if you do time the ball correctly, it's almost effortless to produce high amounts of speed, spin and control. You found with obviously use a carbon blade which is fast, but you still have lots of control. Like for example, yeah. why don't you use a wood blade? Uh, it's not releasing the ball so quickly. Uh -huh. So I need this. I like this is more consistent, especially yeah. if you get harder shots. Mm -hmm. Then you need also a harder blade. Yeah, yeah. But it's still not too hard and too strong. So you can still yeah, handle it somehow. Yeah, yeah. I tried out some really fast blades like, like Tamka or mm -hmm. this super speedy. But especially for the it's not a problem for a normal shot, yeah. but the, the difficult shots, when they are low, then they are too fast, so they have no curve. They will go, go out always. Uh -huh. See. So you, you cannot bring the ball yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in this area of the video, we test the blade against backspin balls, and here's Timo doing what he does best. The Timo Ball ALC excels when opening up against backspin, the dwell time and the throw angle the blade produces is optimized for this type of shot. The blade not only allows you to open up well, but also lets you play hard on the follow up ball. Good combination. The blade also has many gears, which allows you to vary your spin and speed effortlessly when playing top spins. That's what I really like about this blade. It has a lot of flexibility if you want to slow down your shot and go for heavy spin or go for speed when you want to. Nice. Only way I would have pointed is this edge. Amazing stuff. Timo was getting some serious amounts of spin and depth in his shots against my backspin. I have to say, I struggled at times with blocking his shots, but I mainly put this down to the difficulty of playing against Timo. As you may tell already, Timo is not going easy on me one bit. I think if I had a slower blade, with softer rubbers, I would have been able to control the ball slightly easier. But having said that, the Bolt ALC for an offensive carbon blade still has a lot of control. The Bolt ALC is great for counter top spinning, and as you can see here, Timo dismisses my top spins with almost embarrassing ease. Is this a really important area to practice? Yeah, on the higher level, it's maybe the key shot yeah. to move very well, especially attack the yeah. opponent and then be ready to, to play the counter top spin. Sure. This there. is my game now. Yeah. So I have this quick receives and then I get a little bit slower top spin yeah. and then I have the chance to, to attack the ball. I took this opportunity to take on Timo serves in first of five where all I had to do was return the ball on the table to win the point. The tremendous amount of spin and deception was incredible. I think it will, it will play all back. Okay, I, I can try. Let's see. Oh! Okay, interesting. <laughs> Zero one. Good. Yeah. One, one. Kick. Nice. Good one. Ooh, lucky. Just, just, I feel the 
，身体放出来，这一次。Nice. Nice. Be great. Ah, okay. Three, three. The Bolt LC is great for generating spin while serving, as it gives you good feeling. Also you have very good touch, so as you contact the ball, you can really feel the ball dig into the sponge of the rubber and also the blade, which gives you that nice crisp contact, producing lots of spin. However, due to the fact it is a fast blade, if you do not time the ball correctly, it can drift long, giving your opponent the chance to capitalise on your mistake. The Bolt LC has a crisp feeling. So it really helps when playing flicks and long digs. You can really feel the ball bite into the blade's surface. This also really gives you the ability to direct the ball where you want it to go. As mentioned previously in the review, the Bolt LC is superb when playing from mid distance to away from the table. The combination of Aralite Carbon and the harder wood outer pliers gives you high end speed, but enough flex to produce high arc, which results in great depth. Landing the ball deep on the table being a key element when competing in the top to top rallies. Good, nice. Very lucky. Conclusion A huge thanks to Timo Boll for his time to review his own personal blade. It was really an honour and also to Brossa Dustoff for letting us use their incredible facility. And finally a thanks to Butterfly for providing us with the equipment to review. The Bolt ALC has an incredible balance of spin, speed and control. Butterfly and Timo have found a fantastic ratio for a carbon blade and it really goes to show why this blade is so widely used. Its dwell and crisp feeling allows for superb stability in your strokes. The blade's X factor is that it's not too fast, but really controllable. That's what I really like about the Bolt ALC. This control is due to the blade's ability in allowing you to produce fast amounts of spin, making the ball dip quickly after it reaches your opponent's side of the table. Although this blade is quick, it's not as fast as the purely offensive carbon blade, like a Primac Carbon or a Grade A ZLC but it's still a touch faster than an Inner Force or the Apollonia ZLC. The Team and Bolt ALC is definitely not recommended for beginners, as it would be too responsive. However, a player who has developed efficient strokes and is on the immediate to advanced spectrum would benefit most from this blade, especially if carbon blades are your thing. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. Also check out our equipment review center where you can review equipment yourself. Thanks for watching. Ooh! <laughs>